All right, all right. I'll talk. Jeez. Not like that's why I'm here or something. What's your deal, chat? Can't I just be late for my own stream? Is it really that important that I'm on time? Thank you for the three months, Pygood. Have you heard about this little indie game that just came out? It's called Cuphead, and it's a run and fuck your mom. Thank you, Pyro, for the 21 months. Almost a what? I don't... <laughs> well, look. You guys don't get to choose whether it's okay for me to be late. So there. Now what? What are you going to do? You're not going to do shit. That's what. You're going to watch my stream like you were going to anyway, and you're going to like it. And then you're going to leave and forget that this ever happened. And then you're going to make the same lame joke next stream when I come on at 11 minutes instead of 10 minutes. We are your income. Yeah, but I don't think you guys possess the coordination to be able to, like, enforce something like that. I don't think you have the, the, the power. Thank you, Salted Peanut, for the 14 months. I appreciate that. You're right, but I won't agree. Wait, what? How? Uh, thank you, Janielle, for the subscription. <laughs> I don't know what else I was gonna say. Thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for do, doing that, giving me money. Thank you, Shurgan, for the eight months. I always get so many resubs at the start of the stream. I force you to deliberately be late to your own stream, ha. Huh? Nice try, but there's still more people saying that I have to be early or precisely on time. So if you're trying to do like reverse psychology, it's it's not gonna work unless it's like a louder voice than the people shitting on me for being late. Was AFK for like six months. New emotes, new overlays, actual world records. Everything is new here. It scares me. <laughs> How's it going, Tomato Delicious? Thank you for the 26 months, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Jay Stellens. God damn it. What is your fucking obsession with Cuphead, guys? I don't have time to stream Cuphead before before I go to TwitchCon. Cause I gotta stream I gotta do two streams of this and I gotta I gotta do some kind of sellout thing. Unless we incorporate Cuphead into it, but I don't know how we would. I don't know. Maybe I can like play it on extreme with my ass or something. Oh cool, Cuphead stream. No, that's not that's not what I said. <laughs> that's not Cuphead'll take you like three hours. Yeah. I, I don't think it'll be a full stream. Unless I try to, like, get the best rating on all the levels or something. It, it works like that, right? But that's, like, eh. Um, yeah, I mean, I could play it on the harder difficulty, maybe. Someone told me earlier you can unlock it with a config file or something. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I just, like, I have so much shit to, like, to worry about before leaving and... Eight days. Tomorrow, like, actually, in three hours, it's going to be a week before I, until I have to leave. It's already down to a fucking week. Jesus. Cuphead has surprisingly low requirements. Should work on Styx PC. You think? Styx doesn't have a, uh, a graphics card, though. So, thank you for the 100 bits card. Just want to stress my new sub icon. God damn it, dude. Motherfucker. Um, I, I could try to play it there. I don't know. Um, it's, <laughs> this is not the last stream this year. Please. And again, I'm, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be streaming from California a little bit. A little bit. I watch Rick and Morty. Could you tell? Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're, we're gonna be doing some fan game streams there. Styx's computer is, like, good enough for that, but... Does Styx even have a controller? Uh, maybe not, but I can bring one. I'll figure that out. I'll, 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 uh... Like, that's gonna be part of my process, like, thinking about exactly what I need to bring for streaming. 200 IQ. <laughs> yeah, only geniuses watch Rick and Morty. Only really smart people get the humor. 
Don't have an old graphics card lying around? They're all in my computers. Like, I've got... The only old graphics card I had, I put in my stream computer. I have three graphics cards, but I don't want to... I guess I could... I guess I could take one out. But I also don't want to, like, try to ship, like, bring that with me. That'd be iffy in a suitcase with a bunch of shit, even in, like, a box or something. I don't know if I'd trust it. Like, on its own, in a in a shipping box with, like, packaging to protect it, so you can make it nice and big with, like, lots of, you know, peanuts or whatever, I, I'd maybe be okay with that, but... I don't know. I don't know how I would safely bring it in my uh, in my suitcase without taking up a ton of space to make sure that it's not going to get damaged. Hey, chill guy, what's up? Um. So yeah, we're um we're gonna do fan game streams while we're there. There's there's at least a couple of good fan games that I can play, and also um probably gonna do some IRL stuff while I'm there. So that should be fun. Welcome to Asakura P. Facts. If you grab an item and teleport to a different floor on the same frame, you collect the item on the floor you just teleported to. It even overrides the contents of the chest. You can also get infinite keys with this. Wowzies. I don't know why I committed to reading all of that. I should have bailed out halfway through tops. But uh, there you have it. I, I read all of it. Thank you for the, uh, for the five months, Cyan. I just noticed it's really fucking warm in here. Why? Why do I always notice the temperature when I stream? That's really weird. Like, 90% of the time when I'm sitting in my apartment, the setting that my AC is at is good. And, like, I don't have to, like, worry about it. It never even occurs to me that it's too warm. But the minute I fucking go live, I'm like, shit, it's fucking warm. Is it just because, like, I'm talking? Does that count as, like, physical expenditure for me? Is that... Is <laughs> Like, am I, is my body being stressed out by me sitting here and speaking so I'm getting overheated? Am I that fucking uh, out of shape or what? Jesus. Y yes, Skillovich? I have. Um, thank you for the seven months. The Twitch Prime resub. Gizomo. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, apparently I am that out of shape. God. I'm actually gonna, like, have heat stroke and die in California. Like, walking around, having busy days of doing all sorts of shit. Packed areas at TwitchCon with all kinds of body heat and, like, fucking, ugh. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to that part of it. Like, my biggest fear about TwitchCon is that I'm gonna go to TwitchCon, and by the time we get there, I'm gonna be like all fucking moist. Or like, we're gonna be there for a little while, and by the time I meet people, I'm gonna be all fucking moist and gross from the heat, from all the people and shit. To get like a personal fan to bring with me or something. <laughs> wear tiny shorts and rollerblades. I might wear tiny shorts. Maybe. It depends how warm it feels when I get there. I'm bringing shorts. I'd prefer not to wear shorts and a t-shirt to TwitchCon. I'd prefer to wear pants and a nice shirt. Meeting people for the first time, but... Yeah, I mean... If I have to, I'll go in a fucking shorts and a t-shirt. Anyway, today... <laughs> I haven't said anything about... Uh, we're, we're playing Hob today. It is an action-adventure game from the developers of Torchlight and Torchlight 2. From what I understand, it's got some puzzles and stuff. Art looks really nice. It's about a two-stream game. Um, I honestly don't know that much about it, but like someone whose opinion I value uh, had good things to say about it. I, I believe Nick had good things to say about it, and it already looked pretty cool, so I was sold on it. No, I didn't say Cuphead. I didn't say fucking Cuphead. Cuphead, I might squeeze in before I go to TwitchCon. Maybe. Thing about Cuphead is I don't have a key. Like, I, I requested a key on Keymailer, but I never get answers on Keymailer. It's supposed to be a thing where, like, you know, you get a key from devs. It's like a platform. Um, 
Thank you, Myriad Possibilities, for the three years of giving me $5 a month. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Fucking go watch one of the other thousand streamers that are playing Cuphead. And by thousand, I mean like 50,000, probably. Um, the thing about, I think the problem with key mailer for me is I always ask for keys when the game's already out, and I don't think the devs fucking look at it after that. I doubt they get like email notifications for every key request, so I don't know. I could reach out to their uh, email or whatever. In fact, I think I did, but uh, yeah. You're the best stream of them all. They're not as good as Z-Rex. Oh, man. Aw. But you're the good at 2D platformers guy. Aw, you guys. You guys. Aw. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Um, yeah, so this is a two-stream game. Um, I want to do some kind of special event before I go. Uh... And uh, if we have time, I might squeeze and cup in. I could just buy it, but why the fuck would I do that? I'd be making exceptions like that for every fucking game every time I have trouble getting a key when I have lots of other shit I could stream. I'll get a key. I just, you know, you know, maybe not for like a week. Just play all the games at once. I don't think it works like that. Yeah, I saw that, Slifer. I saw that, and I saw all the fucking... I don't know. The outrage and the people coming to his defense and people saying that he shouldn't have his job, etc., etc. Oh, boy. That was, that was a good time. I'd watch people that are actually good at games, but they're typically less entertaining. This fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. I mean... I would just buy games more often. I used to do that every time, like all the time. I would buy every fucking game that I wanted to play because I didn't want to bother with like reaching out to devs, but it's foolish. Like it's really foolish to do that. It's a waste of money. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a fair situation. Like, you know, there's a reason they give keys to, to streamers. You know, they're getting something out of it. I shouldn't feel bad for getting a free copy if I'm going to stream it. So I should I should be taking advantage of the fact that I can get copies of games that I'm going to stream. There's no reason not to. So I'm trying to, like, get out of the bad habit of just buying every fucking game that I'm going to stream. Excuse me, Rex. Why is this not labeled as gaming talk shows? Because your fucking face, that's why. Because I want to talk for a minute. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I I saw this new-ish uh, site similar to Keymailer today. It's called Woovit. And so the way Keymailer and other sites like it usually work is there's a library of games that developers have, you know, submitted to the website. And, like, you can go in as a content creator with your all your accounts connected and you can request a key. Dev has to actively see that request, confirm it manually. This new site, um, all the dev has to do is they put their game on the platform, they set requirements for what is needed for someone to get a key, and then if you want a key, you get a key, as long as you meet the requirements. Um, which is really cool. Because uh, there's, you know, the biggest problem I have with those platforms is you just can't get in touch with the devs. Like, and, you know, I don't usually have a problem getting getting game keys. Like, my stream is big enough that, you know, I can usually get a key for an indie game. So this way, it's so much more convenient. The only problem is the library's not huge yet, so... Uh, once the, uh, once the library is bigger, it's gonna be really nice. Do I meet the, the requirements? Yes. By a lot. You don't have to have a very big channel to get copies of games, really. I saw Divinity Original Sin 2 was on there, actually, and it only required 10,000 Twitch followers, which I thought was surprisingly low. Like, whenever I get keys for AAA games, which is rarely, in fact, I can only think of one, which is Doom, I'm always thinking, like, man, I'm surprised they even give one to me. Like, I'm not huge, huge. I'm, like, medium, 
size streamer. But uh, I mean, I guess it's worth it. I suppose some of the some of the devs on there unfortunately don't understand. Um, they they don't understand the fucking the comparison like the of of Twitch to YouTube in terms of numbers. Like there's some games that say you can either have a thousand subs on YouTube, which is like follows on Twitch for those who don't know, or you can have a thousand uh fucking <clears throat> or no it's a thousand views average video per video on youtube or you can have a thousand average concurrent viewership on twitch which is like <laughs> hilarious because my inactive youtube channel that i don't even use qualified while my twitch channel my partner twitch channel that i make a living from does not qualify because i don't have a thousand average concurrent viewers like that's it's hilarious <laughs> they just don't under fucking stand they got back to Cherno fast, did they? I can't remember if I emailed them or not. I think I might have emailed them a couple days ago. Uh, let me see. No, I didn't. I signed up for their press list and I submitted a request on Keymailer. Maybe I'll just send them an email for Cuphead. I didn't rush it because I knew like I wasn't gonna play it till after TwitchCon anyway, but. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Maybe I'll play it beforehand if I can get a key. Anyway. I guess I'll play some video games. <laughs> yeah, um... It, ha it has nothing to do with Twitch VODs. It's average live viewership. Which for me is between 400 and 600-ish, you know, depending on the game. Uh, the, like, the equivalent... A thousand views on YouTube, average per video, amounts to less than a hundred concurrent viewers on Twitch. Fifty, maybe. To be honest, Rex, any dev from a platform game would be stupid not giving you a key. You have more reach for those games than some bigger streamers that never touch that genre. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But um, like I said, like the size of my channel is is big enough that, <clears throat> at least for indie games, I never have any issue uh, getting a copy. The only problems I tend to have is Keymailer, because I never get a fucking answer on Keymailer, and uh, I've been trying to get a code for Prey for, like, fucking months, but <laughs> the situation there, the fucking PR guy for Bethesda just disappeared, like, he's just gone, I don't know what happened, I guess he's not working there anymore, but, like, in July, his Twitter was active, like, talking about Bethesda, like, you know, just tweeting out stuff related to, to the Bethesda and all this shit. And then out of nowhere, nothing. Just, he's just gone. Like, he hasn't tweeted since July. And there was no mention of, like, you know, regretfully I'm moving on from Bethesda or nothing like that. And there's no other fucking person that you can get in touch with. The only thing there is is a generic press contact for Bethesda, which is not monitored at all. Nobody can get a fucking answer from that. But it's really weird. I don't know what happened to that guy. Anyway, I said I was going to play games. Sorry. Sometimes I just get caught up in a little ramble. I haven't prayed enough to get it. Please. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to get a pray code one day. <laughs> I just... I can't buy that game now on principle. Just because the guy, like... The guy, um... Had no issue giving me a Doom key. And I was like, hey, I'll hit you up later for a pray key, maybe. And then he's just gone. Like, I, I can't... Can't buy it now. I gotta get a fucking key. Half an hour of pregame talk show. You want an hour, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, let me get rid of the music thing that shouldn't be there anymore. Um, For some reason, the title screen goes really dark when you're just sitting here for a long time. So don't worry about that. Also, um... I didn't test anything, so... Hopefully it doesn't stutter or tear. If it does, we'll have to fix it. <laughs> Super professional streamer, Master Rex, and so on. The art of this game looks really, really nice. I wouldn't make it an hour-long lecture. You think I can't sit here and fucking ramble for an hour? Try me, motherfucker. Yeah, the art's really, really nice. Give me the guy's Twitter. I'll try to see with someone I know working at 
id if they know anything about the situation with this guy. Mm, what's his name? His name is... His name is Evan Berman. Evan, quote-unquote, Scapes Berman. If you just twit like Google that with the word Twitter, you'll find him. <clears throat> Do I know a game that looks really nice? Uh, what's that? Is it, uh... Is it Cuphead? Is it gonna be fucking Cuphead? Dude, I like this a lot. Um... Need to see if it's tearing or, or anything on stream. How's it look, guys? Good. I think it looks good on my end. Oh, nice. Over 200 FPS. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I don't really know the formula for this game. I don't know if I should be looking for secrets. So for now, I'm going to look around until I have a reason to not. It's a little loud. Is it really? Really? Huh, because it doesn't... What's with these, like... You see that? It's like... Yeah. It's fucking... What the hell? It's like glitching. <laughs> Thank you, Weedy Seal, for the five bucks. I don't know if you're trying to get Texas speech, because that only works for bits, so hopefully not. He wouldn't make it an hour. You know, times like 80. It's not allowed at all? Oh, did I find a secret? Or maybe this is just the way you go. Okay, these weird, like, glitchy textures are, uh, messing with me. Should I maybe... What the fuck? There's all the options. There's no, there's just nothing. Should I press options instead, maybe? Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, really? You can't change anything from inside the game unless it's under game which would be dumb lovely I'm thinking it the only thing I could think of is it being a v-sync issue but I don't know why some games I use fast sync and some games don't like it okay okay that's that's not that's not okay yes <laughs> that's, that's definitely not okay um, let's try not using fast sync, I guess, because that's really bad. There is some heavy glitching. <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. <laughs> Hold on. Already in the list. Yeah, there it is. It's gonna use the fuck off of fast. Use the uh, 3D application setting, and then we'll try VSync off and VSync on from inside the game. Okay. I'll keep it on windowed full screen. But if that, you know what, windowed full screen means the VSync method shouldn't even matter, doesn't it? If it still glitches, I'll try proper full screen. Obviously, I prefer borderless windowed if I can. Ah! I guess I didn't save. This issue wouldn't happen in Cuphead. Considering Cuphead is an entirely different game, that's probably correct. I can't skip this either. I gotta fucking sit here and watch this guy. Slowly open my door. Come on, dude. Come on, I get it. It's a cool little uh, spherical core to his body there. It's kind of neat. Also, what am I exactly? I didn't even notice that deer thing before. Can I, like, catch it? <laughs> Doesn't seem to care. Alright. We still have any glitching. We do! Lovely! Uh, let's try... I keep pressing the wrong fucking... Let's try, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta close it to even switch the sync method. God damn it. And I'm gonna have to watch the beginning cutscene every time. Oh, no. Kill me. 
I guess I'll try full screen. And V-Sync. Oh, please. And if that doesn't work, then I guess the game just does that? Please work. Please work this time. I can't handle any more restarts. I guess I'll take a drink while we're waiting. <clears throat> You play Cuphead. I don't want to play Cuphead. Yeah, I fucking hate it when options are in the launcher only. Also, in my, uh, I don't review games, but <laughs> games that don't have native DualShock 4 support get, like, minus one point from me now. In this day and age. It's not okay anymore. I used to think support for it was a plus, but not supporting it is a minus now. It's just, I... It's not okay anymore. Uh, thought I saw something, but it seems okay. Guys, please, that coffee pasta is terrible. Hold on, let me go up to that spot that was up here that seemed really fucking bad. Try that. Also, is it stuttering or tearing on the stream? There is a tear. Lovely. That's lovely. It actually looks really stuttery in OBS. Um. Hmm. God damn it, dude. Okay, it's not glitching anymore, but it's tearing. I'm trying to see it. It's. I do now. Some games are just such a fucking nuisance to stream, man. Or at least with a two PC setup. Uh, what's a tear and why can't I see it? Tear is like usually horizontal lines that it almost just looks like a split of the screen. Shit doesn't line up. Especially when you're moving up and down. You see tearing towards the bottom sometimes. I see it, yeah. It's about 30% of the way up. It was only there for a second, but... Yeah, there it just went up to, like, halfway up the screen. Uh... Okay. There's, there's limited options here. This is a fucking pain in the ass. Um... I'm just wondering if there's a way to save so I don't have to redo that. Wouldn't want to make you guys look at this for long though yeah it often looks like it's moving from the bottom to top or whatever enable the cuphead options look motherfucker enable v-sync via graphics card so i could try doing graphics card v-sync instead of graphics card fast sync i could try uh turning off sync altogether which is probably not going to work or i could use a workaround with a second copy of OBS, which is really stupid, but I think that's the best option. Unfortunately. <clears throat> what is this? I was hoping maybe this would be like a save station or something, but it's apparently nothing. It seems like monitor fast sync breaks many games. Um, More than I'd like, yeah. I've had a bad streak of it lately. This looks like a big turd on the ground right here. I know it's roots, but it just looks like a big fucking turd. Just wanted to point that out before we move along here. The frame limiter thing isn't going to help if the... Uh, if V-Sync doesn't help. I think I'm going to use the workaround. Because I can't put on... Fast Sync will prevent the tearing, but it's going to make it uh, glitch out, so... If I can just get confirmation that it's saved at any point. Uh, the fact that it says respawn makes me think that maybe that was a checkpoint back there. I think it was a full screen window mode issue and sync will work in full screen. Fast oh, good point. Maybe, yeah, maybe fast sync will work as long as I put it on full screen instead of... Because we made two changes at once there. 
That's true. Okay, let me try... I'll try fast sync. Um, and if that doesn't work, I'll use the workaround. Which is just annoying. It doesn't take long to set up. It's just annoying. Play until first save. I mean, that might be what I did. Uh, yeah, full screen. That doesn't really matter. But... Science with the banana. Please say continue. Aha! It was a save. I knew it. Okay. I'm looking over there myself, but it's harder to see. I don't see any tearing. And I think the OBS preview always looks stuttery, but is it is it smooth? We good now? I think we're good. Also, it's not glitching as far as I can tell. Let me go up here to confirm. Not glitching. You see tearing? Really? Wait, what was that at the bottom? What is that at the bottom? What the fuck? Oh, there's like black bars. What was that? Minor stutter. Jesus Christ, dude. You guys saw those black bars, right? This is a nightmare. Well, I looked on how long to beat and it said 10 hours. But a quarter of the way towards the bottom, you see tearing. That would be almost at the top. A quarter of the way towards the bottom. You mean from the bottom? Anyway, I don't see tearing anywhere. Uh, let me full screen it. Hi, Lex. But if it's if it's stuttering, okay. We got to do it the janky way. Black bars when standing still. It's like when you stop moving. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, we can't have the black bars. Put it on regular V-Sync and using the workaround. I'm also gonna go fuck myself. At this point. <clears throat> yeah. At this point, it's gonna take take a whole stream just to get the. Get the game to stream well. Okay. Is that that? And uh, I gotta change this. <sighs> Sorry, bear with me. It'll work eventually. It just <clears throat> takes so much fucking effort to do it this way. Okay, second copy of OBS. I don't get it, Lux. Oh, never mind. I get it. Because you like bears. Um, full screen, game capture, preview. Okay. Well, let's see. Better work, motherfucker. <clears throat> yeah, that capture method doesn't work. Cool. Oh, never mind. Okay, time to see if it looks like shit, though. If this doesn't work, we're like, fucked, so... Here we go. So, it looks good... to me? OBS... Uh, it looks stuttery, which it always does. Does it look stuttery on stream? I assume there's no tearing now. There usually isn't when I do this. Thank you for the 21 months, Cheeseburger270. What's up? How's it going? Stuttering still. 
Ugh. Seriously? Doesn't look super smooth. Why, though? <laughs> Just why? What in the extreme fuck? Did it... Did it look smooth at any point? Like, smooth but tearing? <sighs> Stuttering, but it's better than black bars and artifacts. Yeah, I mean... Has it never looked smooth? This might be the best so far. And yet it's still stuttering. But why? Wait, is my... Is my CPU... He looks fine. Oh, maybe. You know what? There's one more thing to try. <sighs> Christ's sake. This is awful. I, I've i never had uh, this much issue getting a, a fucking game to, to stream properly. It bugged out when I tabbed out. Let me just turn a couple things down. I can also turn VSync off altogether. Hmm. I'm going to find some combination of methods that makes this work. I fucking swear it's going to happen. <clears throat> Problem with this is it's not limited and now it's going to fucking use too much CPU. Oh boy. I'm guessing it's still stuttering. I think this is something the game does. I've seen another streamer with the same problem a little earlier today. That's great. That's that's lovely. Um What else can I do? I wish it had a fucking FPS limit option. Why do I care about it using too much CPU? I have a two PC setup. Because I'm having to use a janky workaround right now to make it not tear, and so I need to use a copy of OBS on my first computer. It doesn't need much CPU, but uh, it's gotta just send a little render over. Okay, this plus limiting the FPS should work. I, this is the first time, this is actually the first time that I have had this much trouble stuttering pretty hard when I jump down the stairs. Um, what are my options for limiting FPS? I don't usually do this. What do I even have installed? Afterburner? I don't have Afterburner. Can Precision XOC do that? Is that a thing that Precision XOC does? Um, I could also try NVIDIA VSync, I guess. Potentially. In On rare occasions, that did work before. <clears throat> I think that helped with um, Wings of V in the past, weirdly enough. I don't have Cuphead, guys. I don't have it. I'm not going to stream fucking Cuphead. Literally everyone else is playing Cuphead. For Christ's sake. Uh, I don't know how to do this with this thing. Mm -hmm. Are you sure it can do this? I don't think Precision X has that feature. At least not that I can see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Nvidia VSync, and if that doesn't work, uh, streams canceled. Not really, but everyone's going to leave because I'm not going to be playing games. <laughs> We're just going to be sitting here troubleshooting for half the stream. The Witness is amazing, but alas, I've already played it. Okay. Vertical Sync on. <clears throat> Precision X can limit. You use it. Where is it in there, then? I couldn't find it. At least not 
with this time restraint. Uh, okay. There we go. If vertical sync doesn't work, you should try horizontal sync. It's still using like so much CPU. It's not tapping though. Right now, anyway. It still looks so stuttery over there. Like, how is it that the capture is stuttering so fucking much? Oh, there's one other thing I can do, which I haven't done before, but it's an option. Uh, thank you, Arugula, for the seven months. And I appreciate it. Hob, row wow. Yes. It's still stuttery, right? It looks like it on the preview anyway. Looks a lot better than last time. Does it? The FPS is is limited to 60 because I'm using in-game. For some reason, when it gets captured, it just looks stuttery. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, looks fine. Okay, maybe now it just looks stuttery in the preview window. Definitely the best so far, but definitely not 60 FPS. Huh. No massive stutter when I jump down the stairs. Not super smooth, but watchable. Oh, uh, okay. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna try NDI. Uh, it might look like shit. Also, I might not have the spare CPU overhead for it. But, uh... It's the only thing left. Audio stutters with the video? What? The audio is totally separate. Should not be stuttering. If I hear non-stuttering audio, so should you. Are you actually hearing stutter? Wait, gotta mute the stream because the audio crackles? What? Are you guys fucking with me or what? Yeah, it's fine. Are you guys just memeing? This is not the time for memes. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Okay. I don't see how the audio wouldn't be fine. That would make no sense whatsoever because it's entirely separate. Okay, they're just being fuckers. Um, I guess I'll try NDI. Don't worry what that is. Perfect now. But I have several people saying it's not perfect. Um, if this doesn't work, we'll use that method that I just did. It's better than nothing. But um, I'd like to try. NDI. Let me just make sure I got it configured correctly, though. Uh, if I can remember where that is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not memeing that I haven't seen or heard a single problem since you uncapped the FPS. It's been perfect for me for a while. But I didn't uncap the... <laughs> I never had it capped in the first place. What's NDI? God damn it. NDI is... Uh, transmitting video over the network. Which I've never done. But it's half decent. I'm not sure how the quality is going to be. Thank you for the 10 months, Stapper Mint. I appreciate that. Maybe the capture method is a problem too. Hmm. Having trouble with the game? Thank you for the Switch to 500 bits. Cuphead, what do you feel? Cuphead, 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 God damn it. Cuphead, 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 Cuphead. Cuphead, <sighs> Cuphead, 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 C. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've never used this. Let's see if it even works, first of all. <clears throat> it's like a 25% chance that this is going to work. <laughs> C.
I might have to sync audio if, uh, if nothing else. Oh, it looks really fucked. What is, what's up with that? What the hell? Why does it look all fucking, like, what is this shit over here? You see that? <laughs> also, I think it's still stuttering. That's great. It's amazing. I, I don't think it does. What are with these little fucking splotches? What is that? <laughs> it's like not rendering the things? What the heck? Good God. It's like every, every method is like almost good, except there's like one problem. This is not even using my capture card. Uh, yeah, so that's totally fucky. What else can I try? Fucking ass gravy. Um. Can I just, like, die? Would that be all right? I'm just gonna. Never mind. This game is boring, anyways. I haven't even started the fucking. You've only seen the first five seconds of it. A hundred times. How do you know? Get some runic people in chat for tech support stream. <laughs> There's only so much to be done. <sighs> okay. I don't know why I'm doing this, but first five seconds of a game is enough. That's not accurate. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, every method has stuttered. I don't see why there's stutter with the fucking capture card, though. Do you guys notice minor stutter on my streams normally and, like, people just don't mention it? Or are my streams usually nice and smooth? Because why would it be different for this game? Like, I can understand the tearing, but the stutter, there should be no reason for the stutter. Unless it's always like that, and I didn't know. It's usually smooth. That's what I thought. Borderless Gaming's not doing anything with it, is it? No, you gotta opt into that. Uh, let me try, like, lowering the settings. On VSync. Make sure it's on full screen. Or should I do windowed? No, that, that was what was making it sketchy in the first place. But why? It's not fishing for compliments on your stream quality. God damn it. Oh, I have an idea. Just to understand something here. Set low process priority in task manager or medium. Why would that help? Get it. I'm pretty sure this is going to tear. I want to see. Yeah, sir. I want to see what um, <clears throat> input FPS I'm getting, though. That way I can see if uh, it's stuttering before or after it gets to my stream PC. This is fucking terrible. This is the worst stream I've ever done in my life. I just want to see. Getting 59.79 hertz, which is normal, I think. Hmm. Can someone please cut my balls? It's going to tear and there's going to be a bit of stutter. How, is this the smoothest one? Like, except for the tearing, is is it, like, not stuttering, or? <clears throat> nice scan line. Yeah. Scan lines, Lamau. 
See, this is the reason it's smooth is because it's using the normal fucking capture card method. Uh, but I can't get it to not fucking tear. Is there anything I can do on my stream PC to try to get rid of the tearing, maybe? I've never had to fuck around with it this much. Uh, FPS. Can put it on 59.94 instead of 60, I guess. No, I'm still tearing. Might be worse, actually. Unless I set the stream to that, too. Which I don't think I can do while I'm live anyway. <sighs> Far less distracting than the previous one. But the tearing. I don't want to have it tearing. <clears throat> what do I mean by tearing? Uh, you can see it, especially when I'm going up and down the stairs. Look for horizontal lines that just look like it's almost getting kind of cut and that usually travels up or down. It just looks like a little, like, distortion, but it's a line horizontally across. You can see it for sure. It's right at the top of the screen there that time. Every time I go down the stairs, it goes from about the middle to the top of the screen. It's like pretty bad tearing. Holy shit. Spotted it there, yeah. Out of all the issues, issues, tearing is the best option, but fuck. Two whole streams with tearing constantly? If I could just use fast sync, man, like. It's not bad, you have to try to see it. I think tearing bothers some people quite a bit. Also, the, the preview in, in OBS still looks stuttery. I, I'm never sure if that's just the preview. I think it is. Time for a PC upgrade. It's nothing to do with it. <sighs> trying to think if I forgot about any options here. Try reducing voltage to my CPU. What? Why? What? It's a capture pro. The tearing is a capture problem. It's not tearing in the game. Sometimes it's actually pretty bad. I think so too. <laughs> what else can I do? I could try streaming at like 30 <laughs> FPS, but yeah, that would be like this. And that's fucking terrible. And also it's still tearing even though I did that. Good God. Maybe set it to highest FPS instead of match output. Nope. Nope. I just can't stream this game. It can't be done. It's impossible. There is no, there's no option that works. I think this, I think the stuttering, I need a three PC setup. I think the stuttering I was having was what the fuck because my game PC oh Jesus my game PC with the other methods was using a bit of CPU for OBS but there was like none left over I'm curious if I maybe play the game on 1080p if uh, then my CPU load will get down enough to use the workaround and have it not stutter that's the only thing I haven't tried, and that's a big pain in the dick, but it'll look fine for you guys, but it's going to be 1080p on a 1440p monitor for me. I'm just curious what my CPU usage will look like if I put it on 1080p. Like, will it even be lower? <clears throat> Not, it doesn't look that bad. Um, yeah, there might be enough room. I guess. 
So it's obviously still tearing because I haven't switched the other thing yet, but... Monitor scaling Dan's game. I know. I know, I'm gonna puke. Thank you, Sunset Bear, for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you for choosing to sub despite what's currently happening. Okay, um... The CPU usage does look lower, so let me try that after all. This is like my last thing that I can try. If this doesn't work, then... I guess we just use the method that was like only a little bit of stutter. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> Which I hate to do, but... Oh well. The worst thing about this is it takes so long to change some of these fucking settings. It's a terrifying Miku face. Terrifying? How dare you? How dare you insult Miku? Who do you think you are? Okay, one sec. <laughs> Miku is tearing. <laughs> <clears throat> nose is a little terrifying. What's wrong with the nose? Oh, now that I've... Now that you've mentioned it, there's like a weird little slit there. Huh. Try switching your desktop background to static image. I could turn off wallpaper engine. I, it shouldn't... It, no, it's not that, because if it was, it'd be affecting the game on my end, too. It's a capture issue, so. <clears throat> Thank you for the uh, three months, Vanship Exile. Do you accept free money from Amazon for Prime subs? I do. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime here. Appreciate it. Will I play Portal 2 sometime soon? No, I will not, but thank you for the sub. Either way, I appreciate that. I just gotta change one quick thing. Sixty FPS. Turn off NDI. <sighs> I don't want to be alive. What is using all the CPU on my fucking computer anyway? I'm at thirty three, just idling. Like, fuck off. Okay, moment of truth. Oh god, I forgot to do something first. Don't, don't bug out, game. Oh god, I gotta click outside the game. Don't bug out. Don't do it. Let's see. Gotta be honest, this was kind of a prank. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's subbing to me? I I dare you to sub to that guy. He won't know what hit him when you don't sub again or something. Pranked. So my guess is it's not tearing, but it is stuttering. Is that what's happening right now? I have no fucking clue anymore. Just waiting for input. Correct. Lovely. That's great. <laughs> Looks low level stuttery. Low level stuttery. Hmm. <sighs> what harder do I have? A lot. It's a two computer setup. But it's good. Especially the capture card. This game just really doesn't like the two capture setup or two computer capture setup. This is the best it has been. <sighs> this is a lot of hardware. There's like nothing else I can do. I can close a couple other things in the background. I, like my CPU is not maxing out though. I just don't understand, man. It makes no fucking sense. The only other option is to do a one PC setup, but that's also not an option because 
Never mind. My audio would not work. <sighs> What's that? I don't know. Wait, what? I guess I can't do that. Looks good enough, but I don't want good enough. My stream's supposed to be good quality. That's like my thing, man. That's my whole thing. Is that looks real good. Because I spent a lot of money on having good shit. Hob is just too demanding. I guess so. I hate settling. It's the worst. Although you wouldn't know that from my love life. Well, former love lives. Thought my thing was being scum. I can have more than one thing. It was your thing all along, I never noticed. How did you not notice? <sighs> wow, savaged yourself. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> hey, if it's true, it's true. What? What just happened? What? What happened there? I glanced away while I was jumping at that stump and I looked back and it zoomed in on the ground and I respawned at the checkpoint. What? Did I die? Did I die from the stump? <laughs> what? What in the hell? Did I like suffer from fall damage? Oh, I fell through the floor. I looked away for one millisecond. Trying to make it happen again. <laughs> Holy shit. Man. Whatever. I guess we'll deal with the minor stutter. Actually, I want to see it. I want to see what it looks like. And if I'm satisfied, I'll continue. So I'm going to bring up my stream. I can't help myself. I, I obsess over this shit. I have no choice. Okay, let me move around. Let's see what it looks like on the other end. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad, I guess. Wait, my stream computer is not getting maxed, is it? That'd be ridiculous. No, not even close. Although, Jesus, it's getting... Wait a minute. What? It's actually getting up to 95% for Hob. Oh, maybe the... Maybe the grass is fucking... Oh, maybe like something to do with the art of this game is really hard to render. Because my stream computer is actually getting pretty high. Hmm, let me... Huh. Wait, does this apply? Can I... I can change this, but does it apply? Like, what if I put it all the way down here? Hold on, I might have figured it out. Maybe. I'm gonna have to restart the stream, though. Is it? Normally... Is it normally smooth, but now and then it stutters? How often is it stuttering? The thing is, I haven't quite seen it max. It's just getting really close. Hob is harder to run than Witcher 3 and Crisis 3. Okay, it just went to 99%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the problem. Wow. That's insane. Hob is harder to stream than Rocket League. Harder to render than Rocket League. 
Uh, so... Yeah, let's... Alright, let, let me... I have to restart the stream, which I hate doing, because I'm going to lose a bunch of viewers. That's like the worst thing you can do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to restart it and try that. One sec. <laughs> 